Welcome. We're going to have a little introduction to the Room 146 website, how to use it. If we start on the Room 146 page, you see across the top we've got our regular buttons, and across the left-hand side we've got some buttons. At the bottom on the left-hand side we see Holocaust Studies. Let's go ahead and click on that button, Holocaust Studies. It's going to take us to the Room 146 front page, the Room 146 Holocaust Studies wiki. If we look at our address bar, it says HTTP colon forward forward room 146.pbworks.com forward slash front page. You may want to add this to any bookmarks that you may have. Uh, this is our title. This tells us what page we're on. So we're on the front page on the room 146 home website. We've got the view and we've got the edit. And if we click on edit, we can then go to, we will then see save down at the bottom, but we're not quite there yet. So anyway, this is the main content of the page. The most information is going to be found in this section here. Because this is a rather short page, we don't have a scroll bar along the left-hand side, um, but we'll look at a page that does have a scroll bar. Uh, notice there's a little heading here, a little reminder to everybody. If you don't see the page that you need listed below here, then click on the list on the right. Now, first of all, anytime you see an underlined blue word, that is a link. It'll open up another page. So we see Night Reading Group uh, for the Reading Group and Response pages, and we can click on that, and it will take us to the Night Reading Group page, as the heading tells us. Or we can click on, I'll hit the back button, or we can click on Pleasant View World War II Library Holdings, and we can click there, and it will take us to a list of all of the books that Pleasant View Library has on World War II. And this is a longer page, so we see that we've got a little scroll bar that can go way down, and this is every single book that the library has on World War II, uh, on the subject of World War II. So let's hit the back button one more time, and we're back at the front page. And so this is where the main content is. Anytime you see these underlined words, that means it's a link. But the list on the right, what are we talking about? This navigator, you see this navigator right here, this lists every page that is on the Holocaust Studies uh, site. So we've got Anne Frank, Anne Frank Reading Group, Friedrich Reading Group, front page, and all these down the list, and there will be some added throughout the quarter. So if you see a page, or if you need a page that isn't listed on the main content that you're seeing, always use the navigator to go to a certain area. Maybe you're in the Anne Frank Reading Group and you need to go there. Click on that and you're at the Anne Frank Reading Group page. Or maybe you want to uh, look at what people are saying on the Friedrich Reading Group page. You click on the Friedrich Reading Group page and you can see what people are uh, reading there. So the navigator is also is very important. You can you can use this little bar to drag it up and down to see everything or to be able to scroll through the list. Also here we see the sidebar. The sidebar provides external links. One link is to the Room 146 website. I'll click the back button. Uh, another link is to NiceNet. I'll click the back button, and then the U.S. Holocaust Memorial Museum, which is a resource that we will use quite often in the class. So those are some external links on the sidebar. And then it'll also tell us some recent activity, who's doing what. We can see that I have been editing for a while. So that is the Room 146. We can, let's go back. If I click here on the Home, It'll take me back to the front page. Last thing I want us to look at is this top left-hand corner information here. Okay, I am anonymous right now because I have not signed in. So what I want to do is I want to click in order to sign in and to edit the page. Watch, I'll click on the edit and it'll say to edit this page, request access to the workspace. Already have an account? Log in. Well, I need to log in to edit the page. So let me go over here on the top right, click log in. And I need to enter my email or username and password. Each student is going to receive a username and your password. And uh, so my email is in there. And uh, let me see if I remember my password. I'm not really sure if I do or not. Uh, that's not it. Let's try that one. And nope, didn't work. Let's try another one. All 
right, that one worked. And we see, uh, the reason I know it works on the top left, or top right hand corner, I see that I'm logged in. I'm tmmurky, tmmurky at spsmail.org. My username will be up there, and now if I click on the edit page, I can now edit. What I, do, what I can do is I can scroll down and I can, I can type whatever I need to here, and it will appear on the page after I click save. So down here on the bottom left hand corner I hit save and now the page has been edited. Okay? So that's how I view and edit. Right now I'm just in the view mode. If I want to edit and go back and delete that, I can click on it and delete it and click save one more time and now it's gone. So, and notice on the far right hand side, front page was edited by Thomas Berkey. So anytime edits are made to the pages, uh, it, there, it goes into a log. So it's, uh, it's important for us to see who is doing what and when, and uh, that log keeps track of it. You've got to be logged in to be able to edit, and that's how we do that by clicking in and clicking out. Let me know if you have any questions. That is the room 146 class wiki.